Yeah, so, quick question, guys. Is that light annoying or is it brilliant? I want to know your honest opinion. But I don't, actually, I don't care. If it is annoying, like, I don't care. Go elsewhere. It's up YouTube, how are we doing? It's a lovely day to be alive. England beat Germany, somehow. Italy now have to beat Belgium. You never know, it could be Italy, Italy, England final. We could see one of the most crazy games ever. That, well, for me, because like we'll get sent back to Italy if we beat England. But yeah, it's coming home for someone. It's either going to Rome or it's coming home, I don't know. We'll see. But guys, I've got some big news. My new van has arrived, guys. I've got the new whip. The new whip is here, guys. Uh, translation whip means car in, like, Slack. If you're over a certain age, you won't get that. I mean, at 27, what am I doing saying whip? But here we are. Uh, my new car, it is metallic, well, grey. Didn't want to get silver, that's too bright. Whatever's going on with this poor filming. It's terrible. Um, but yeah, roll the video and I'll be back at the end. Peace. Metallic grey. Loving it. Alloy wheels. Oh, the other one had alloy wheels. Wheels. Don't mind that BMW. Press that button, you lower the suspension. Well, it's not suspension, it's lowering, is it? What is it called that lowers? I don't know. It's like a bag of air that deflates a bag of air. and reinflates. Alright, right, here we go. Look at that. It's a bit longer than the last one. And it's got a few more seats. Wow, that is cozy. That is cozy. Wow, that sounds so futuristic. So yeah, guys, I can have the option of sitting in the front passenger seat. That is proper wham. It is, isn't it? Guys, I can sit in the front, in the passenger seat, if I want. This one's not adapted for me to drive, because I prefer to drink than drive. You know, or well, smoke and fly. Just about I know, it's literally, literally proper close. So guys, the difference is like, this is brand spanking new and a bit longer. Brand spanking you and a bit longer. And the floor is not lowered, it's so... <laughs> it looks like I'm nearer to the, the roof, but I'm not. The floor is just not lowered, so it's like normal height. I just about fit in. If I put a, a bit of gel in my hair, I won't actually fit in. What, what's the nickname for this one, then? So the old one was old blue. What are we calling this one? Well, it's not blue, is it? My right. sound system, lovely. Bit of cock. What? We need a bit of. Going down to change gear. Oh, lovely. Can you reach? Okay, so this is my command. Very, very, very good there. Eh? Very good. Is my pussy wagon? Very good there. Eh? Very nice. No, we'll put it my in the steering bus. wheel. We'll put it, we'll put it in the man's got all his utensils and that. The man's got the media thing in it. There's no SD card, apparently. Nice. Oh, USB 2. Craft. Have you seen one else? Nice. Bare buttons and that. Oh, man. There he is. We can also switch on light. Oh, yeah, light, yes. Oh, look at that lighting, guys. That's actually quite sick. Some sick lighting. Oh, my God. But seriously, I love this interior. I know, yeah, maybe I can't drive it like I drove the old one. But this is sick. Less to go wrong, really, in some ways. Um, but the choice about not driving is... Uh, 
No, it's just a personal one. Like, no reason really. I could, I could still choose to adapt the car to drive again in the future if I want to. But I thought, you know, let's get something that's comfortable for everyone for our long journeys to Italy, you know. And I'd rather drink than drive or smoke and fly, to be honest. You know, like, I can get a chauffeur, it's fine. Or my brother, so. There's always someone, you know. Um, because I ain't getting on a bus with COVID around. I used to, but uh, nah. Not for a while, anyway. But yeah, that is my new car, guys. And yeah, I got a certain name for it that I'm not going to mention now because it's a bit vulgar, but yeah. That is my new car, my whip. Very good, there, very good. It's my pussy wagon. And uh, yeah, it's just fun every time I'm in it now. Like, it's like, it's like, it's something about being a bloke or a boy or a man or whatever I am. Um, about getting a new car or like, I don't know, like, you never grow up really. It's like Christmas, like, getting something new, that feeling. Like, if you could bottle that feeling, it'd be brilliant, like, when you've got something new. Because once you've had something a while, like, the, the the novelty wears off. It's like, oh, just another thing, you know. But no, this is sick. And we will be driving it to Italy when they let us, when the bloody borders open. Um, yeah. And you'll see a lot more of this car in the vlog. And they've got space for a mate in the back if I'm sitting up front. So it's going to be, you know, we're going to be rolling out with the squad um, all over the UK. No, it's the party bus, really. Yeah, let's call it the party bus. That's the PG version of what it's called. You don't want to know the other name. Um, but yeah, it feels like I'm in a limo when I'm in the back. Got blacked out windows, you know, all the usual stuff. But yeah. Um, I've got more videos on the way, guys, don't worry. It's been a while, I'm sorry, uh, because I was at the dentist. I've been watching all the football. Uh, I just want to, like, say, well done, England, bloody hell. The way we beat Germany, like, did not expect that. I mean, did not, I don't know. The composure was the main thing that surprised me. Like, we, you know, maybe the first half was boring, but we didn't concede. We're built on a solid defence. And obviously England are great to watch, well, not great to watch, but it's great to see what they've been doing, like how they've progressed. And it's amazing to see how Italy are playing with no fear, like attacking and scoring. Like for Italy, that's strange. It's normally like seven at the back. But no, we've been doing brilliantly. And if Italy meet England, I have said, I have to support Italy, regardless of who I think's better. Like both play well. As a unit, they've got individual brilliant players. I think England have got really, really good players individually. Better than the Italians, but Italy are a unit. And you see it when they sing the anthem. Those players just, they're willing to die on that pitch. They will leave everything on that pitch. So if Italy do play England, or even this Belgium game, Italy, they will leave it all on the pitch. Win or lose. Like, we could lose 3-2, but it'll be amazing. Rather do that than, like, lose some... Like, dodgy 1-0. But we'll see. But it's coming home for one of them. Hopefully. Imagine if it is Italy, England. Like, God. I'm kind of dreading that. But at the same time, it'd be amazing. I mean, Italy probably the most entertaining team in the tournament. It's not often we say that. But England, we've got to beat Ukraine. It's not easy. We saw what happened when we lost to Iceland. But we can't think about that. This is like... A new group of players, new manager, what, regardless of what I think of Southgate. I'm just so happy for Sterling and Harry Kane. Back on the score sheet. Hopefully he stays, I don't think so. But we could do a swap deal for Sterling. Uh, uh, as a Spurs fan, just glad we've got a manager too. But yeah, I've been talking too long. That is it for now. We'll see more of this new vehicle. And, uh, you know, stay up, stay humble. You know, keep doing good, you know. You're not going to change the world, but, like, every, if you do something little that's good, then you're on your way. That is it, guys. Um, keep it simple. Don't overdo it with whatever you're doing. Um, but that is it for now. 
Um, take easy, guys. Peace. Yeah, I'm the only one that you know. Life could be a dream, sweetheart. Hello.